So this video is on uh, Briggs and Stratton uh, flywheel development over the years. Uh, this guy here is off an old cast iron block. We'll put him about 1948. This one's off my 56 Briggs push mower. Then uh, this one's off a 1981 push mower. And we'll call this one sometime around the same time frame. Same thing with this one. And then this would be maybe in the 90s when they developed blade brakes. And then this one is off a 2013 um, overhead valve engine. And these two are off, this one will be off, uh, we'll say, 60s, 70s, uh, no, earlier than that, uh, maybe 50s, early 60s um, rototiller. And this one's off a modern rototiller. Uh, <coughs> they make uh, three and three and a half horse rototiller motors, so. Anyway, so now I'll go back and uh, <coughs> review them. I got, so I got nine different flywheels here. So this one will fit the old cast iron block jobbies and uh, uh, also uh, like a, a three horse horizontal shaft Briggs. Uh, basically, uh, the, the main difference, uh, I will, yeah, of course it wants to roll. Okay, uh, the main difference is that in 1963, I believe it was, they switched from the old 4-bolt to the 2-bolt uh, ignition uh, uh, magneto. So the old style runs two magnets, as you can see, and the new style runs one. And the new style, well, need, they're not interchangeable because uh, the two magnets won't fire the, the new 2-bolt um, coil. So... So if you you got a newer one, you'll have to have to have the uh, single magnet. See, um, as you can see on all these guys, that's a single magnet. Single magnet. They're all single magnets. We'll go with the 2013 here. Yeah, single magnet. Now you might think this is a magnet, but it isn't. It's a uh, it's a weight. So anyway, that's uh, the first major change was uh, you know two versus one magnet. So, and the other thing is the material. This guy here, he's, I don't know, it's like some kind of lead-based thing. The fins will actually kind of bend a little bit before they break. It's, I, I don't know, it's heavy, whatever it is, but it's, like I say, I don't know what it is. Zinc, it's not, it's not aluminum, put it that way, it's very heavy. Anyway, so that's for the old cast iron block jobbies, like a 5S and, you know, that, that type of thing. Then we go to lawn mowers. Say from 53 up, this is a 56, um, up in the early 60s. There's variances between these two. Say this one's an 81, but it's common to, you know, from the 70s. You can see the differences there. You know, the magnet side's bigger on this. This has two magnets, this has one. But the counterbalance on this side's bigger. You got this shape here, it doesn't have it here. You know, I've, I've seen very few of these flywheels. I've seen a lot of these ones. And the thing about both of them is, they're very light. Very light flywheels, so when you start your lawnmower up, you have to have a blade on it. If you don't, I've had it suck the cord right out of my hand, kind of backfire, pull a handle right off the cord when it... When it uh, retracts into the starter so with these light flywheels you have to have a blade on the lawnmower so uh, see all the fins it's got it's got a million fins I'll just compare it to a new one here see the see the number of fins the old one's got sure you got three times as many fins anyway so that's the you know the early one from say 50s and early 60s and then they switched to this one a little heavier, a few less fins, or give or take. Then uh, we get up to the 81 here. See, it's got a lot less fins on it, and it this one has the uh, the gear on it there for the vertical pull starter, and it's also uh, full circle because of the gear. See, this one's not full circle. It's it's got this hollow spots there. Okay. So then we're up into the 80s. And then I've got this very unusual one here. I've only seen one of it. It's, again, it's the same heavy material or similar to the very old ones, but it's got the gear on it. But this thing, it's basically off a rototiller. It's a very heavy flywheel. It'll run without a blade. 
and you see this one fin here is bent another one's bent so they bend before they break and it's also got a metal a, a stronger metal piece cast in here so like I say that's that's an oddball but anyway so then get up what's the year on this guy I know I haven't got it written but we'll say in the 90s when they went to blade breaks and put the handle on the uh, or put the pull start on the handles and got that bar you got to squeeze for the blade break so then they went had to go back to full circle flywheels so they're heavier somewhat heavier I, sh I still don't really recommend uh, running the, the mo motor uh, without a uh, blade but uh, so you got you got the magnet on one side and you got the, this uh, counterbalance on the other and I happen to have one here that's that's uh, cut apart as you can see they're not very thick I'd give that an eighth inch of that so there's not a whole lot of material there and then the uh, the 2013 here it's similar it's got these two you know two holes in it there for overhead valve I don't know different uh, different grip here um, they use a different recoil starter it's also got a cast in piece there I don't believe this one, uh, this one might yeah I think it does too um, you know similar but just minor differences on the overhead valve one and then um, I'll get back to my heavy flywheels off of uh, like a rototiller uh, motor, something that doesn't have a blade on it. it. Could be a riding mower, even though I've never seen a three and a half horse riding mower. Seen a four horse, used to have one of them. So again, we got the we got the old one here and the new one. This, this one will fire the newer um, magnetos, and this one won't. They're probably similar weights. Uh, you know, you get you can fun two funky thick fins here. This one's got thick fins, but not not nearly as thick as though as the other one. And then this thing here, which this one doesn't have, so I got two instead of six. But um, yeah, so this is what I run on my uh, lawn mowers when I start them up. Don't run a blade for safety reasons, and uh, so then you need the, the heavy flywheel so they run nice and smooth. But um, anyway, so that's uh, it's quite a quite a variety of uh, flywheels over the years, and I've been stung by this one here with the two magnets and the one magnet, because this one, the, the two magnets won't fire a magnetron, the electronic ignition, or it won't fire the the newer style two, just two bolts holding it on the engine uh, magneto, even with the uh, points. I learned that one the hard way. I think I uh, even sandblasted and painted the one flywheel and then found out it wouldn't work. So, uh, oh, the other the other funny thing with these old lads, the old cast iron blocks, they have left hand thread on the end of the crankshaft. I broke crankshaft off before I learned that. You know, I'm twisting it to loosen it up and it just keeps getting tighter and tighter and finally snap, broke, broke it right off. Luckily the engine wasn't much good, but anyway. So, that uh, shows you the a variety of uh, flywheels over the years so there's lots of uh, lots of little uh, little variances like that I'll try to cover them in this uh, lawnmower series sorry this video is getting so long here but uh, yeah even on the the engine block and the base there's all kinds of little changes they've made I I've, I've, haven't really paid attention to them until I started making these videos so anyway everybody have a good one